It is one of the more violent crashes we've seen in recent memory. Shocking for the speed at which a gray SUV comes out of nowhere, careening Tuesday morning toward a gas station on Route 23 North in Wayne. Tragic because the airborne Honda Pilot SUV killed three people, a father and his teenage son sitting in the idling Chevy Camaro convertible and the gas station attendant you see standing in front of that vehicle. The driver allegedly high on opioids, according to a source familiar with this crash investigation, had to be revived with the drug Narcan and is alive. The two people were not moving and the gas station attendant was crumpled in the floor. The gas station's owner saw it all and joined relatives of the attendant, 23-year-old Lovedeep Fatra, in mourning his tragic death. I knew right away there was nothing I could do to help him. Just before that, I asked him if he wanted coffee, I was going to get coffee. He said yes, and two minutes later, he was gone. I talk for father, he's too much bad, he's crying. So every family is crying. We can tell you tonight that miraculously there were three people in another vehicle behind that Camaro that survived this crash just barely. The family of the gas station attendant, his parents still in India, that family taking it hard, obviously.